Hello everyone, the doctor is in, and thanks again to the Chosen Prime, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Takara Masterpiece MP11R NR uh, Ramjet. Uh, this is obviously a repaint slash retool of the uh, original Masterpiece Seekers. You know a lot about this mold if you have any of these figures, so what I want to accomplish with this video is kind of just give you an overview of the figure, the transformation, and some of the differences uh, between this and the other Masterpiece Seekers. In addition, um, there are some quality control issues, one of them being uh, misassembly of the of the shoulders, uh, which does affect uh, the, the plane mode uh, the most, in, at least in my opinion. Um, I'll start out, uh, in addition to what you see here, uh, the only other accessory that comes with Ramjet is the translucent uh, pilot. Um, unfortunately it doesn't come with a display stand uh, that's a little disappointing but um, all in all as far as the the alt mode goes uh, I think it looks awesome uh, they really did a really good job of, of retooling it and making it look like ramjet uh, from the the boosters on the back with the wing with the tail fins on the top to the sort of uh, sort of streamlined and pro, you know elongated wings and this seeker, um, and they even added these uh, booster uh, jets or missiles, uh, whatever you want to call them, underneath the wings um, that do come off to reveal his null rays. Um, most of his features in this mode are, are very similar uh, to the original seekers. Uh, he does have the canopy that opens, and you can put your your pilot in there. Um, it has the little the nose that will extend and uh, evert out to the right to reveal that little machine or Gatling gun. Um, and it does have this little flap on the top of the jet mode that you can lift up and it ha it's on that little piston and it does move very well. And of course the, the landing gear, um, which the front landing, it does roll very well. The front landing gear is, is exactly the same as the other Seekers, but the rear, la rear landing gear is different. Um, I will show you some of the differences um, or the issues with the shoulder misassembly uh, that you can see in this mode, uh, more so than the robot mode. doesn't seem to affect the robot mode, uh, um, but getting him into this, this jet can be a little tedious uh, and difficult um, if you're unaware of the problem um, or if you're fighting it. Um, so I'll, I'll start off by saying that um, it's very slight. Uh, basically, I think there's a, a, a piece that's on a pin that I believe is switched from left to right um, and um, causes a few millimeters of difference um, in allowing you to peg these arms into these wing pieces here, which I do not have pegged in. It also causes a gap. Um, between this black piece and this white piece on both sides, whereas in the other Seeker molds, uh, you, if you have one, you'll see that there's no gap, and I'll show you my Starscream masterpiece to compare that. Um, you can, um, if you unpeg this booster or either one from either side, um, I can show you that there is a white tab there and a tab there that pegs into this wing piece or supposed to peg into this wing piece. You can force it in, but if you do, it's extr it's kind of difficult to get all of er everything else lined up to get these um, pegged into the wings. So I, I felt that it was better just to leave them unpegged. Um, it, when you peg these 
the boosters into the wings, um, it does kind of separate uh, this middle part a little bit as well. For transformation, you can see I've already got one of these boosters um, and pegged here. Uh, we're just going to go underneath here. And uh, for the landing gear, uh, as far as the, the front landing gear is the same as it is in the other seekers. You open this panel. If you open it too far, it will fall off. So just be careful there. Fold that wheel in. Uh, for the back wheels, for the other seekers, the wheel folds out this way. Um, and for these, uh, for this, for Ramjet, it does fold in uh, this way. Now I will tell you that um, to get it, to get them back out, there's no, nothing to grab here. Um, I find it easier to uh, grab a tool, put, putting pressure on the, the tire itself, um, and just pushing that out is the best way to get those tires out. Uh, but we'll fold those up for now. Um, we got one of the boosters unpegged. We will also um, separate these. Um, they do pull apart here and here, and they are side specific. There is a right and a left. Um, I find that when you're putting these back on, um, you see there's sort of a two-third circle uh, on this side. And on this one, uh, it's a complete circle, but there are two little notches in there that correlate to about a third on this way or two thirds on this way depending on how you look at it that will line up with um, uh, that part of the opening when you're putting it back together um, and it's best to get <coughs> actually you need to get this peg lined up <coughs> with this peg on the null ray to get it back into place um, to put that back together um, and get those notches lined up like so. So right now we'll just pull those off for now and set those aside. Get it unpegged first, undo those, put them back together so you don't mix them up. <coughs> so then uh, just like you, there's a lot of similarities with the other seekers, what we're going to do is uh, basically extend the legs. Um, <coughs> you can separate them and flip up this back piece so that you can uh, take out the, the heel or the back of the foot, flip that back down. Same on this side. Get that flipped out. Uh, rotate it uh, around to the front and we're gonna take these pieces which become the front of the feet, flip it down and then rotate it 180 degrees on both sides. Um, you can push the kneecaps um, up to push out these shins on either side. Um, and you want to push the wing pieces up into the leg. Also, which is very cool, part of the transformation is these little engine parts. Um, you can lift them and flip them up and rotate them around. There's a Decepticon symbol there. Flip it back in and it seems it's seamless. Um, th that engine is completely hidden, which is really cool when you got your Decepticon symbol. I will tell you it is very difficult without a tool to get this at back out. Um, you can externally rotate this wing for the jet mode. Um, I find it's really hard to even get uh, that out that way. Um, if you just get a tool um, and sort of gently pry it out and you can rotate it back uh, for, for transformation back. Um, just to let you know that. Uh, same thing on this side. I wish they put like a little tab you can grab um, but there's absolutely nothing that you can grab on here um, except if you pull in here but I still find it difficult to kind of pull that out. So instead of struggling I would just get a little something to wedge in there. Um, now for the, uh, and we folded these back, uh, for the arms, uh, very similar, uh, identical to the other seekers. At this point you're going to rotate this arm out um, and then 
do the same on the other side. And there's our uh, robot hand. We're going to uh, open that um, on both sides. And we'll adjust the arms once we get things in robot mode after. But get these two pieces, kind of separate them and swivel them down. Okay. Now here's where things get interesting um, and different than the other seekers. Uh, there's this front half of the, the plane, the cockpit, um, which you're going to... Uh, bend down, that's the same as the other the other seekers. You're also going to bend this part down, um, the nose of the plane, um, and then um, you're going to push this back panel out so that you have clearance to push the nose through, like so. Um, but before we push it completely through, we'll push it about halfway through and come to this part. Fold it down about this far, um, and that is when you're going to take. Um, this is what's different and unique about this this uh, this mold um, is rotate this nose 180 degrees, and now you can sort of um, move it down more um, completely. Um, you can rotate this around to reveal Ramjet's head. Um, you can open the cockpit and then uh, rotate this piece all the way back, close the cockpit. So then you want to rotate these shoulder pieces down, make sure that it's lined up with that part there and here. This part of the transformation is kind of fiddly with the seekers in general. Um, and then you can slide your uh, main part torso down like so. Make sure that's pushed back and slide that down completely. Um, and then we can uh, position our arms appropriately rotate at the biceps and bend at the elbow, uh, get our null rays uh, rotated into position like so. And there you have Ramjet in robot mode. Shoulder assembly, misassembly issue doesn't seem to affect the robot mode at all. So that's that's not an issue. You can also take your, uh, your boosters. Um, if you want to be toy accurate, you could uh, undo them and place them over the null rays. This way, again, line up these two pegs, slide that on, and then line up your notches with the open part of the other part of the booster, or you can just put these together like this, flip the in the back, and attach these to these ports um, on these little wing pieces. Um, as far as articulation, the head is on a ball joint. Um, you can lift it up, that's more for transformation, but it can rotate. Uh, it can't go all the way around because of the canopy in the back, won't allow it, uh, but it can go as far as that way and that way. Look up. Um, if you want it to look extremely down, you can rotate it that way. Um, the shoulders are on a ratchet uh, for uh, rotation, uh, and they will swivel out. Uh, the, there is a bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, the wrists do rotate, the hands are, th the thumb is on a ball joint, the index finger uh, is on a, is on a, it is on a ball joint it appears, but it's also on a hinge for this knuckle, um, and the other three fingers are on a single 
single joint um, and they have another hinge on them to, to bend the hands even further. Uh, the waist really has very limited, if any, uh, rotation. Uh, the, the hips um, can't go out very far, but they can go forward, uh, not far back. They're all very limited. Um, and the knees are double jointed, um, as in the other seeker molds. Um, there is no really ankle tilt. Uh, the, the foot does swivel. Uh, it might help a little bit with, with posability, but not much really. So you're, you're a little bit limited with this particular mass piece. Part of the reason is because there's just so much um, uh, attached to it uh, in, the, in the sides and in the back. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with uh, some of these panels and just uh, some of the transformation just kind of limits it. But if you're a fan of the Seeker mold, um, this is really great, especially in this, especially in this mode. Um, I really like the head sculpt. I think they did an awesome job uh, with the novelty of the transformation as well, which is different from the other Seekers um, and how it doesn't use the actual nose cone of the plane. Um, but it's kind of sort of a, a, its own nose cone, which to, seems to be more proportionate um, than the than the G1 Seekers, anyway. Um, another difference between this one and the other Seekers is that um, because of the change in the transformation up here, um, this piece, uh, which normally would push forward um, and you'd fold this down, um, you can't do that. And also, there's no port uh, for this peg. Uh, to kind of peg in and, and lock into place. Um, so it just kind of sits back there. I kind of think that's a minor thing um, because it's in the back anyways. Um, but um, I have to say that I really was excited about this when they announced it, um, that we're finally getting the Coneheads, uh, or at least one of them, uh, in Masterpiece form. Um, I was really disappointed when I found out that it was going to be exclusive to Japan, um, but it is what it is. Uh, it's about $180 retail. And then to add to that, I'm a little disappointed with the shoulder misassembly issue. Um, like I said, it doesn't affect the robot mode as much, but getting it transformed back into the jet mode uh, can be tedious, uh, difficult. Uh, it doesn't really peg in the way it's supposed to. Um, and because of that reason, it's really turned me off from paying $180 for this figure. I can't recommend it at that price. Now, if, if by some uh, uh, some way that um, Hasbro can get this figure and release it at its uh, seeker price point, even at slightly more expensive, I wouldn't ma mind paying a little bit extra for it. Um, and I'm sure they would get the shoulder issues fixed. Um, I, I Even though this is a fourth or fifth repaint or retool of this of this mold um I, I really recommend this figure it's it's the only way to get this character i shouldn't say that there are third party party versions um, but as far as official goes it's the first time they've released a masterpiece version of these of this character you know i think if they can get it uh at a non-exclusive price and get the shoulders fixed i i think it's a great i think it's a great deal once again, I'd like to thank The Chosen Prime. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor is out.